Hi, I'm Zane Brown, president of Herzl Nier Tamid. HNT has been providing a home for Jews in the Seattle area for the past 113 years, and I'm proud to say we're still going strong. Tzedek, Tzedek, tear it off. At a time when the conservative movement is generally experiencing contraction, I am proud that our membership is strong, our religious school and adult education offerings continue to expand, and we are fiscally sound. Our staff and clergy, supported by volunteers, think every day how we can keep this community relevant and vibrant. We do that by offering a rich and diverse array of activities to serve the spiritual and educational needs of our community. I'm particularly proud of the way the congregation comes together on Shabbat and holidays and during our times of need. I'm also proud of our efforts to deepen civil discourse and expand community engagement. For example, we provided for the household needs of dozens of area refugee families and continued our support of homeless men and teens throughout the year by serving meals, rain or shine. We continued our care for the more than 70 Leshai elementary students experiencing homelessness by supplying clothing, school supplies, and most impressively, regular tutoring provided by 18 HNT volunteers. This is a congregation that cares for each other and for our community. The HNT family is a dynamic group of people bound by our history and our traditions, united in our commitment to Torah, Avodah, and Gimilut Chasadim, and perhaps most importantly, committed to supporting each other during all the varied stages of our Jewish life cycle. I'm Josh Fine. Uh, my wife Anna and I uh, moved out to Seattle a little over four and a half years ago uh, when my oldest daughter Maya, uh, who was three at the time, as well as uh, Eliza, who was just about one, and um, being uh, born and raised New Yorkers, uh, never really thought that we'd live above like 23rd Street in Manhattan. Uh, but when an opportunity arose with Amazon to move out to Seattle, we decided to take the dive. Knowing that we weren't gonna have our family and friends around us, we wanted to make sure that we got embedded into a community with a strong sense of Judaism, uh, both for friends as well as for uh, faith-based. And uh, when we found Herzl, uh, we immediately felt at home. Um, our children have made friends here, we have made friends here, um, and it has become a really positive and stable part of our lives out here um, that just really continues to foster that sense of community, which is so important to us. It's really home. You know, every part of the, the synagogue has meaning for me. When I think about Herzl Nair Tamid, uh, I think of um, almost like getting a hug on a day when you really need it. It's the people is the main thing. It's the history that across the spectrum I have connections here, people I was kids with, people I've raised my children with the clergy, the lay leadership. It's walking in, knowing what's going on, knowing people, having someone always come and say hello. Our daughter Rachel celebrated her bat mitzvah in 2007, and there was the Hanukkah Eve storm, which took out the electricity for the entire western third of our state. And Herzl came together to make Rachel's bat mitzvah possible. And it was such an impressive act of loving kindness, I was very impressed and very grateful. It was our community and our home, and it meant everything to us. So I think about the timeline of our adult lives, and so many of the major events in our lives and the lives of our kids have been focused here at, at Herzl. And so I, I kind of get warm fuzzies when I think about coming here. Even though 